so much for coming back to my channel sorry i've just realized that i've not <laughs> made my hair pretty for today but i just nipped out and we did a wee shop and we headed back home for the kids to chill in the house for the afternoon so i just thought i would share with you my grocery haul now um i've been sharing that i'm on this sort of health kick or healthy eating living lifestyle um and so i am shopping obviously to do with that and i'm trying to get a lot more meals in and we're starting to meal prep again so this week I've got nice ideas. I'm having, we're hopefully having vermicelli with natural yogurt one night, homemade tomato pasta bake. I'm going to have some baked potatoes. My husband's got some chicken wraps for his lunch, for work. And yeah, I'm going to share everything with you in just a second. But I thought I would let you know, I've done an Aldi shop. I did an Asda, just a couple of things at Asda. And then I'm going to show you at the end the savers that I bought stuff towards our holiday, which I'm so excited about. It's the first family holiday we've been on. My daughter is the only one that's been on a plane. And that's when she was about six or seven months old. Part of that, she's never been away um, but we are going away from my own 60th, the five of us. We are also meeting my sister and her fiancé and two kids out there as well. And so I'm so excited. But anyway, I just want to share with you our grocery haul. That's kind of why I've been on this health kick also for my mental health. I need to start feeling better about myself. My, oh, the kids are upstairs, I'm sorry. Um, my health has always been a big anxiety for me. So starting to change my mental health, I'm starting to change my mentality towards food and fitness and everything so we're down we're down a little bit at the moment and i've been trying to share some of that on my instagram so i will share with you everything i bought i am not completely dieting if i still want a little bit of something here and there then i'm going to have it it's all in moderation obviously and it's just about um portion size getting out and getting exercise just i'm doing what's working for me i'm not going to stick to anything strict because i just don't have the ability to do that i don't have the um what's that willpower anymore to stick to these sort of special diets so i'm doing what i can um and it seems to be working so far so i'm going to share with you what i got and i'll catch up with you at the end so this is it all here as you can see it is a very large um grocery haul we were actually out of quite a lot of stuff so um we just yeah it's a lot more so much more expensive now it's actually quite like upsetting seeing how much you're spending on your your food shop nowadays I definitely would have been able to get this for a lot cheaper back a couple of years ago but unfortunately that is just not the way it is anymore i am feeding five of us my son is now 10 months old as well so he is on solid food as well as um breastfeeding so yeah things are obviously going to be a lot more expensive but i'm going to show you everything i got so i've basically got aldi here oh blurry and then there's a little bit of asda at the back there so i'm going to show you this all and i also want to show you what i got from savers as well so um, yes, and there's stuff around. I've got stuff at the back there and I've got my washing over here. So we're just going to ignore that. Um, but yes, the first thing I got was obviously a jumbo pack of nappies. He is in the four plus ones. And I really like the Aldi ones, especially the ultra dry. I never used to rate Aldi's nappies, but they are actually my go-to now. So um, I got those. So obviously two boxes of wipes because we go through so many wipes. Um, cat food. I looked for the biscuits in Aldi, but they didn't have them. So I just picked up some food. Picked this up for, well, mostly for my baby, but obviously I'll use it on the other two as well. Um, I'm looking to maybe get the one that you can just spray on instead of rubbing it in, but we'll just, we'll judge the price. Anyway, I got this for um, our holiday to put away, so picked that up. And then I picked up the mini one to give my son for his nursery bag, because you're usually uh, meant to give a little one for the nursery bag. So that is for him to take to nursery. Um, Ziploc bags, I got some large or medium and some small ones. I'm going to look into the reusables, just because obviously it'd be a lot better. Um, but my kids are pretty good at reusing these for a couple of times anyway so we don't waste them like fully but i'm going to look into reusable but in the meantime i got two bags of those totally out of some garlic granules so i picked up some of those and some more mixed herbs um okay so onto the fruit and veg picked up pink ladies i mean if you follow my channel for a while you'll know it is only pink ladies in this house raspberries and some strawberries two packs of peppers although my son wanted to pick up a hundred so i thought two was pretty reasonable um broccoli I'm really bad I'd love to buy two but we're really bad sometimes at not using it so I thought if I bought one and then obviously if we get it used I can always nip to Asda and pick up another one um, but in the meantime one I got some lettuce there spring onion some cucumber I mean it looks like I've got a lot of carrots but I am making carrot lentil soup and I am making carrot lentil soup for my husband and I and I'm going to make some for my little boy as well to freeze and then my kids eat raw carrots like as a snack with most dinners actually so we go through a lot of carrots in this house. My spinach is something I'm trying to do a lot more of and eat a lot more of. So I picked up a bag of that and some cherry tomatoes. I do actually have still some in my fridge, so I didn't pick up any more than that. Some onions and then oh, there's some bananas up here as well. And I think that's it. I do have a couple of things still in my fridge. 
Um, and then I do have some frozen like peas and sweet corn and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of like the fresh produce. Going up here, I picked up these ones actually. I haven't tried the oats and dark chocolate ones before. Um, but obviously, as I mentioned, we are on this health kick and sometimes it's nice to have this if I'm on the go with the kids in the morning, if I don't have time to sit and have my breakfast. So I picked up those ones for me and then I picked up these for my husband and my daughter really likes these ones too. And then my husband sometimes takes these ones to work. Again, my son actually really likes these as well. So bread, this is mental. I haven't actually picked up a loaf of bread in well over a week. And we used to go through loaf of bread like every couple of days. So obviously my big thing for me was cutting down on bread. So, and actually, can I say this one, I like the toasty thick one, but this one really, really lasts. Like it's not going moldy that much. Now, what's the date on this? 9th of May. So it's not got a long date on it, but actually it doesn't go moldy. So I recommend that one a lot, actually. Picked up some wraps. I do have some in the cupboard, so that'll go for some dinners and for my husband's work. And the kids love the chocolate brioche rolls, so I picked up some of those. We have some chopped tomatoes. So I actually have a couple in my cupboard anyway, but I use them quite regularly. So I picked up a couple. One tin of baked beans. I just picked up some mozzarella light and some cheese spread. Now I didn't pick up a block of cheddar because I'm gonna show you. I have opened it, one second. I'm not gonna pull out the bag, but we got this big, huge block from Costco. I think it was like six or seven pounds for this. Um, so it works out to be cheaper and it lasts us longer. So we picked up that from Costco maybe last week. I can't remember. Um, so we started doing that and we started picking up a couple other things from Costco. You guys know I'm a Pepsi Max daft. So we picked that up from Costco. We get our toilet roll from Costco and that kind of thing. So we started doing our cheese as well, which actually works out to be a lot cheaper for us. So yeah, anyway, if you have a Costco card, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, these two meals here. So my husband has three 12-hour shifts coming up and sometimes just after a 12-hour shift, um, if my kids have after school activities, I don't always have time to then prep his dinner. So these are actually really handy just to have in. If he doesn't use them, if he eats what I make, then obviously they can be frozen. So that's really handy. But these are really good. They're actually really tasty. He said they're really, really good. So we pick up a couple of those every week. He generally will eat them because it's sometimes all he fancies, fancies after like a cover shift coming in, having a quick bottle of quick bottle, quick bowl of spaghetti carbonara. And then that's him sort of settling down for the evening. Um... It maybe doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually, he takes enough to work that he's quite happy to come home and have that. But because I'm making a pasta bake one day, he is going to have those. So yeah, picked up two of those. So they're really good, by the way, if you're looking for something. Um, he says they're really tasty. My son is obsessed with these. We picked up a couple of these. We actually have a picnic this weekend. So we'll put that towards picnic. I've already said those. Can't go wrong with cheese thins. And my little baby loves them as well. I try not to give them too often, but he sometimes is a little savoury snack for him. He likes those. So I grabbed that. Um, okay, we'll go over here. My son chose this cereal. Um, I have other cereals in the cupboard, but it's the one he wanted today, so I let him choose that. This is the one my husband and I have, if obviously my husband's at home in the mornings, and I will have a bowl of that with my morning coffee as well. So I got those for us. Quite a lot of yogurts. These ones my kids will eat and my baby also has them sometimes, so they're really handy to have in, and they actually always have really good dates on them, so I grabbed those. These ones my kids love. My daughter loves the chocolate flake ones and my son loves the chocolate balls. It works out well. And then underneath it's actually split, so I'm just gonna be careful. These are the ones that me and my husband have been getting. These are confectionery, so the orange with dark chocolate sprinkles is incredible, by the way. Absolutely incredible. I love it. So those are my ones and the vanilla are my husband, so that works out well. Sometimes I don't feel like a yogurt every night, so I don't buy too many. And again, I can always buy more if I want them. Um, so that's all our yogurt. Okay, we're just going to leave that down there. Um, and these ones are for my kids' school lunchboxes. They really like these ones as well. 12 pack of eggs because I am eating a lot of salads and I usually add eggs. I'm trying to get my baby to start eating more eggs as well. So that is what we needed. Wrapping foil, of course, ran out of that. Um, I got some rich teas because sometimes it's just nice to have a rich tea and it's probably one of the lesser calorie biscuits so I can have a couple with my cup of tea or my cup of coffee and not feel too guilty about it. These are for my husband to take to work. Again, he works 12 hour shifts and they're quite physical so he likes something sweet sometimes so he pops them in his bag and he sort of eats them over the course of a couple of days. Pick these up for the kiddies because they love them. Always obviously need to stock up the cupboard with these two. Um, these are my favourite vegetable packets. I've probably shown you these before. Um, these are the just Aldi's own essentials, golden vegetable savoury rice. My husband's not a massive fan of rice in general, so I will usually just half a packet and use it at a time. And as you can see there, so half a packet is 226. So if I use that as well as something for my dinner, it's pretty good. 
and it's quite low in the majority of the things. So they're really good to have in the cupboard. Again, they last for ages as well. To pick up three of them, and I think they're like 40 pence. They used to be 20, like 28 pence. But I'm sure they're like up to 40 something now. So yeah, obviously that is a bit more expensive. Um, up here, okay, so we have quite a lot of crisps up here. Um, tackle crunch traps, we're gonna use these, but my kids sometimes like to have like cheesy nachos sometimes with their dinner. Um, sometimes I just add them as a wee snack, so we always get those in. Um, under here, these are delicious by the way, if you've not tried them from Aldi, they're really good. The lentil chips, barbecue flavour, they are only 71 calories a pack. I don't have them every day, but I really do enjoy them. Um, something something uh, tasty to add to my daily diet. Um, we've got these teddy faces over here, which the kids chose. These chipsticks are for my husband's work, so I popped them over there. Kids also chose hoops. We do have some in the cupboard already. Um, but they're the ones they chose. I let them choose what they'd like. Sometimes I picked up these again for wee snacks. Sometimes if you're on the go, just take a couple in the car with you. And then my son picked these up. These are basically Aldi's take on, um, what do you call them? Knickknacks. So they have the orange ones, which are like the spicy ones. And these are like, I think it's barbecue-y flavoured. My son loves these. So I picked up two guys of those. I can put them in. We're actually, like I said, we're going to picnic, so he wants to take some of them. And then my daughter picked up these for the picnic, so obviously they can be used over the next few days as well. Some Greek yogurt to have with our vermicelli dinner. The only thing I couldn't find in my food shop this week was vermicelli, so I'll, I think one of my local stores has it. If not, I might need to adapt my meal plan, and I really, really want vermicelli, so I'm going to have to hunt high and low for it. But I might have some in the back of my cupboard, I'm not sure. So I got that for that reason. Beetroot is another thing. It's actually something my husband loves. Um, 15 calories for a 50 gram serving so add that onto the side of your dinner with your rice or whatever you're having um, it's not something I ever would have really bought myself my husband loves it which is weird because he doesn't like a lot of these kind of things and I actually am really enjoying it as well so it's quite good that we've got that in whole wheat pasta from my um, tomato pasta week homemade tomato pasta week that we can all eat and then the only thing I actually got in the freezer because I have corn chicken I have some sausages and I have frozen fish for my little baby and also what else do I have in the freezer corn chicken and frozen veg so the only thing I need to get for one of the dinners this week was chicken goujons for my kids and then my husband what he does is he takes these to work he adds lettuce and like carrots mixed in with some garlic mayonnaise chicken and then in a wrap for his lunch um, that's what he likes to eat it's sometimes we'll get fresh chicken that you can sort of fry up a little bit on the stove or he sometimes just pops these in the air fryer it really depends what he fancied but this week he quite fancied some chicken goujons so that's what we got um, oh, and the last little snack things we got there was mini cookies and the safari snacks from the kids' lunch boxes as well. Um, I think that's all we got from Aldi. No, we didn't. I'm lying to you. So the last few things we got from Aldi were these apple pouches. My baby loves them. They're just quite good to sort of offer after a lunch. I really struggled with his feeding. I have mentioned this before. Um, he's only just started to like lumps in his food and stuff. So he was on puries for quite a while. But these he likes, so after his dinner, if he does really well and he's still quite hungry, I like to offer him something like this. Or these are quite good, the Greek style mango yogurts. They usually have like a, I think there's a blueberry and strawberry, but they only had the mango in today. So I picked up a couple of those and he can also have those yogurts, whatever they are over there somewhere. And I also picked up this one. He's had this chicken casserole with rice one before. He actually really liked it, believe it or not, for 10 months. I mean, it doesn't look the most appealing, but it is quite a lumpy texture, which is something I didn't think he would ever eat. So the fact that he does like it, um, and he definitely wouldn't eat a full pouch in one sitting, which I'm not sure if he should be at his age or not. I just give him what I think he can tolerate. If he wants to eat up more, I'll heat up more. But generally, half of this pouch with a dessert or some form, he's quite happy with. So I got one of those again, and then I got the coconut and chicken risotto one I thought I would try. I am going to start making more food for him now that he is eating more. But while he wasn't really eating very much, I was just sticking to pouches and jars. I wasn't going to waste my time making stuff for him to just like not even eat it. Um, but now he is a little bit more open to things. I will definitely start trying to make some more for him. And he can start to eat what we eat. He has got some of his crisps, but I did pick up some rice cakes for him to try as well. Um, but yeah, so that is literally everything I got from Aldi. Massive amount. Definitely would have got this for about £30 cheaper a couple of years ago. But my total will be on screen now because I cannot remember how much I spent. But it was a lot. Um, but unfortunately, I did have nothing to Asda because there was a couple of things I just couldn't get. Um, so things I got from Asda, you'll have to excuse all my reusable bags and my dusters and everything down there. I got some cat biscuits, just she just likes these ones. I got those. These are for my husband's work. He takes them sparkling as apple and raspberry flavoured water. He loves them. So he takes one per shift. Picked up some salad cream. It was the only one I could find. And this was still £1.99. So I picked up the less fat one. This is quite good to add to the egg salads and stuff I sometimes make. 
I usually just add a little bit, so not too much. So that makes it a little bit more flavoursome. I picked up these again to go with my husband's breakfast. He likes when he's in the morning. Like I said, his job's really physical, so he needs the more cal like more calorie intake than I do. Um, so that's the sort of things he needs to take with him. Picked up these to have with my lunch sometimes because I thought they would be quite good. Cooked ham. Um, just got some for the kids' sandwiches and things like that. Sweet potato, couldn't find any at Aldi, so I picked up at Asda. And the last things I got from Asda were these milk chocolate rice cakes. These are so good. I love throwing these in my changing bag and taking with me. Sometimes it's just a bit of chocolate that I need. Picked up two packets. My kids also love them, so it's quite good just to throw a pack in the bag. Um, and just, yeah, makes me feel like I'm having that little bit of chocolate, even when I'm trying to be good. And so, yeah, that Aldi price will be on total. No, the Aldi total will be on the screen now as well. So that is everything. As you can see, massive shop, but we are a family of five now that are all eating and need things. And yeah, shopping is just a lot more expensive these days. So it is large, but it is all needed. So that is my Aldi and as a shop. I want to show you briefly what I got from Savers as well. So yeah, we are going on holiday in about two months and this is the first family holiday with us all. I'm so excited. I can't wait to just go away and enjoy the sun. It's for my mum's 60th. So I'm starting to pick up little bits here and there. So I'm going to show you what I got from Savers. I think it's um I think it was quite cheap in there. I do obviously still need to get quite a lot of things, but I'm going to show you what I got there and the price that I spent in there for what I got. Um and yeah, let me show you and then I'll come back to you. Excuse where I've put this, but this is the only space I've got at the moment. So there's a couple of things. The hairspray is actually for now because we are out, so I picked that up. Two creams, one to put away for the holiday and one for in the house now because we're totally out. So two of those. My daughter suffered really bad with travel sickness, so I popped I bought some of these. That I could take. I'm also going to have to get the tablet. She's really not good with travelling. I'm hoping the plane and the train will be a lot better than she is in the car. But obviously I want to be well prepared just in case. So got some travel sickness bands for her. She also picked up this luggage tag. She thought it was really cute. Holiday alpaca my bags. Which is obviously she had already started doing. Um, oh excuse me. So we got that. I thought it would be cute on our big suitcase. I've got some paracetamol to put away for the holiday. Um, liquid talc. I got this because it does, I've used this before and it does smell incredible. It makes their skin really soft, but it also helps skin, baby skin soft and prevents chafing. And I thought with the heat, it might be good for all three of my kids. Um, even myself, I might use it, but I thought that was quite good to pack. And I remember really liking it when I bought it before. And then I bought us just all some cheap sort of toothbrushes. I know like some people might say these are not very good, but I just don't want to take our at-home toothbrushes away with us. Um, I did notice that it now actually says three to six. My daughter is seven, so I'm hoping we can maybe get away with it. We thought they were really cute and they're only for like our two-week holiday, 10-day holiday. So um, yeah, we picked up those for my son, my daughter, myself and my husband just to pack away. And I've got my baby's toothbrush upstairs, which I will take. And then obviously I still need to get loads, but I just thought I'd quickly show you what I got from Sabres. That all came to £17 and 18 pence. So I thought that was quite good considering those were 2 dollars each and that was 3 dollars which is super expensive but it is the hairspray we like. So yeah, that's my little savers haul as well. And so that is everything I got. Like I said, I have been on this health kick. If you're following my Instagram page, it's Stacey Rebecca YT. If you're not, then I am sharing my, I'm trying to share some of my weight loss journey. I am currently 11, what am I down? 11 11.4 pounds down, so we're doing we're doing well. I'd love to lose at least another stone before I go away, but we'll see how we get on. I'm not going to put the pressure on myself. I am just eating a lot better, getting out and moving more, and just, yeah, feeling a lot better about myself. So as you can see, we're meal planning more, um, which I briefly told you at the start. We're meal planning more, we are exercising more, we're getting ready for our holiday, we're feeling good. So we're doing well, and yeah, I just thought I would share with you how expensive our food shop was now. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about prices, then let me know down below. I can let you know some individual prices, but the totals were on screen there for you. Um, and I'm going to start sharing some cooking videos again when I get a little bit more time on my hands. Um, finding time when you've got three young kids is, is pretty difficult sometimes. So I will share some cooking videos shortly. But for now, here was my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.